Let's go. So Michael asks, um, what's the deal with the scheduling of um, medicines? Uh, and I see in the pharmacy and I see uh, at Coles or in the supermarket. In pharmacy world, we have this thing called scheduling of medications. You quite commonly, you see uh, what we call pharmacy medicine, pharmacist only medicines. And I'll just run through a little bit of what that's all about. So pharmacy medicines are medicines that are available in the pharmacy only. And usually uh, you can access those products without uh, consultation with a pharmacist. They usually contain a particular dosage um, and a particular strength of medication and in a certain quantity size. You will find that uh, supermarkets also contain, also sell some of these products, but you'll notice that they don't have them in large pack sizes uh, or larger pack sizes like we do have them here in the pharmacy. So that's a pharmacy medicine, what we in the pharmacy world call Schedule 2, so that means it's got to be sold in a pharmacy because um, yeah, it's in a larger pack size of the particular medication uh, needs, needs a little bit more advice uh, than what you would normally not get uh, in a supermarket. Uh, the other one uh, that you see is pharmacist only medication and this is the medicines that are kept behind the counter and this is pharmacist only medicines are usually more potent medications or they can have like a, a detrimental effect like some side effects um, or interactions with other medications and so that's why it's important that you need to interact with a pharmacist to ensure suitability for you. That's what, um, that hopefully Michael, that, um, that explains a little bit of the schedule of the different types of medicines, why some pharmacist only medicines are kept behind the counter, pharmacy only medicines are kept within the pharmacy area. Um, and you'll see if you pay attention, if you notice when you go into a pharmacy, you'll see like this, um, this area where it says uh, professional services area. So that's where these pharmacy medicines need to be kept. Hope that answers your question.